Memphis, Tennessee, Mid-South Coliseum, July, they're having what they're calling a legend show. And when you talk about legends, of course, the king comes to mind, but nobody, nobody surpasses the name of the nature boy. Oh, Rick King, Blair, right King you're on. being way too humble. No. When it comes to Memphis, Tennessee, there's only one name that ranks above all else. That would be you, Jerry the King Lawler. I mean, I don't care what Dundee tells you. I don't care what, uh, what the kid's name with the blonde hair, Jeff Jarrett, tells you. <laughs> right. I don't know what the Jarrett's father tells you. There's only one king of Memphis, Tennessee. That would be Jerry the King. So well, tell me more about this Hall well, of Fame thing. Well, I'll this, tell you, it's, this, it's this a legend show, and they're bringing back show. these guys. And I just wanted to ask your personal opinion. If you would consider these guys legends, or like I do, maybe just big names. I and mean, they're going to go way back in the past. They're going to drag some guys out of mothballs like Sputnik Monroe. Just like Coca-Cola known all around the world. Sputnik, a big name, but a legend, I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Okay. Now, he had some big battles. It even goes back to Rustwood Park. They fought Sputnik Monroe and Billy Wicks. Billy Wicks, the guy with the big time oh, power. Wow. Yes. Well, you know, Billy was a bad man, but a legend, I don't know. You know, I just, you'll have to help me out on okay, that. Okay, we're going to come up a little okay. bit. What about, what about handsome Jimmy Valiant? Oh, my God. Handsome Jimmy Valiant, alias the Boogie Woogie Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was a big star, a big name, huge commodity, drew a lot of money. But a legend, I don't know. I don't no, know. He's not there. He's You're so right. skinny now, I don't even know if he can still wrestle. <laughs> Let me Come on, this. Boogie. Will you right. put the weight on, man? I'm, I'm going to kid you. What about the Rock and Roll Express? Oh, my God. No, let me tell you something. Those two guys, especially Ricky Morton, yeah. I have a lot of respect for. They are legendary status. King, I'm not saying that they're your level, there you but go. the Rock and Roll Express are big time. And the Ricky Morton, I can't help but tell you, you are very close and have been on days the man. He's close to being a legend. That, that's right. That's okay, right. one other guy that I feel personally is close to being a legend, but I still I can't put you, him there you, with you. you. You know that Robert and Ricky have had almost as many women as you and me? Almost. Keep almost. it at almost. Let's okay, keep it at okay, almost. Okay, almost. Now, okay, here's the other guy I was going to ask you about. And I don't even know if he's going to be there, but I hope he is because I'd like to get him one more time. Terry Funk. Oh, my God, King, you have wrestled him to sellout after sellout after sellout at the Mid-South Coliseum. You've also wrestled him in an empty building. Right. I've seen the show, I know. And Terry Funk, you are a legend. You are a world champion yeah. several times, but you are not the level of Jerry the King Lawler. So in July, at the legend show, the marquee better read, better read, Jerry the King Lawler, plus, 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 plus. Others. That's all there is. <laughs> plus others. You heard it from the man, himself, the nature boy. <laughs> Woo!